Hey, welcome back to our channel. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna talk about new apps. There's new apps out there. So in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing a series of videos on the latest and greatest new apps for devices like the Amazon Fire TV Stick, Roku devices, or even Android TV boxes or your Android TV. Guys, there are so many new apps that come out on the market regularly. How do you find out about them? Well, hopefully in a videos like this, I'll be able to share that with you. So if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and turn on notification bell. Just click our channel name, click that bell in the upper right hand corner and you'll be notified of videos just like this. So let's not waste any time. I am really excited about this one. This one has picked up a lot of steam recently. It does offer free movies, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna start off with Stash TV. If you haven't heard of that before, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. It's a pretty awesome app. It's completely legal. It's available in the app stores on all of your devices. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. All right, so like I mentioned, we're gonna talk really quickly about Stash TV. That's what today's video is all about. Now, this is a really great app to be able to watch movies on your devices like your Fire TV Stick. So I'll show a demonstration today on the Fire TV Stick so you can kind of get an idea if it's an app you might want to add. Now, how is it that Stash TV is able to offer you movies completely free with no subscription, no registering, nothing? Well, how do they do that? Well, it's called ad-based content. So there's a few ways you could get content on your Fire TV stick. You can either hack it and go through like Kodi or one of those apps out there that offer free content that is technically not legal. Or you can go through ad-based where you do something like Stash TV. Uh, another example would be Crackle or Film Rise, those types of apps that are very popular. The third option would be paid. So you're talking like Netflix, something like that. So those are your options. If you want free content, you either have to hack your Fire Stick and have a VPN running in the background and do all this stuff, or you could do services like Stash TV. So that's just a little background about how they do it. They do ad-based movies. So there's gonna be ads within the movie at certain marker points. Now, keep in mind, Stash TV, the reason why it's so popular is because they do about half the amount of ads in their videos than in their movies than like other ones like Crackle, for example. Crackle is known for having, you could have to watch seven, eight, nine, ten 10 ads within a movie, whereas you would have half of that over on Stash. So is it worth it? Do they have new movies? All that fun stuff. We're going to find out in today's video. So let's get on the TV, check it out. All right, got you on the TV here. So I guess the question you have to ask yourself is where do you find this app, this Stash app? Well, it's gonna be in the find section right here. All you have to do is go to search and just type in Stash. So let's do that really fast here. You could probably just ask for it as well just by saying Stash into the remote. I didn't even think about that, but you certainly can. And then Stash TV right there. So that's what it looks like. It's black, black box with white writing. And let's open it up. You will have to initially install it. I already installed it because I've been kind of playing with it a little bit to make sure the quality is good for you guys. It's actually really impressive. And there's a huge amount of content that I've not seen anywhere else. A lot of this stuff is pretty unique to this app, which is kind of cool. So as you can see, they are categorized. So if you wanted to look just at comedies, you could go through the comedies. If you wanted to look at the dramas, you can go dramas. So it's a very similar design to say like a Netflix, it's, but it doesn't cost you anything. So I guess my question next would be uh, how many ads are there and do you know where the ads are like on some of the other ones? Well, let's open up Felony. It tells you a little bit about it. You can add it to your watch list to watch later or watch it now. Let's go ahead and click now. I'm curious to see uh, how it works here. So um, as you can see, it's an hour 47 movie, minute, one hour and 47 minute movie and it does not have um, the markers where the ads are going to be. So they're random throughout. They do advertise that it's half the amount of ads that you would get on live TV or other apps like this. So curious if that's true. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to check this out. So it says it has closed caption. That's pretty cool that it has that. Um, but I want to fast forward a little bit and see if it stops with an ad. So let's go through. I'm fast forwarding really fast here. I just want to check it out and see if it just stops. So I'm already, let's say 10 minutes in really fast response to get to that point. And I, it did not stop with an app ad. So I don't even know if this even has ads. Pretty interesting. So, okay, well this is, I've never heard of felony, but uh, it's a good actor. I know the actor and uh, could be a pretty good movie. Uh, what else we got on here? We got crime, we've got horrors, we got westerns, thrillers, sci-fi history, all kinds of stuff here, tons and tons. So let's just say, for example, you wanted to go up to the top and search for something. Now, all you would have to do here would be either type it in or speak. So let's speak into it and let's look for movies or shows that are like time travel. Time travel. 
Yeah, see if it pulls. So there's three that are actually on here with time travel. That's pretty interesting. So let's say we wanted something that was funny. So we'll just, for the fun of it, let's see if this works. Funny. Okay. And so there's five that are related to funny, like My Funny Valentine. Um, which looks like it might actually be a pretty good movie. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of Netflix, the way they organize it. And, and the amount of content obviously is way less. Um, I have not seen a lot of these movies. And I kind of like that. It's unique that it doesn't have movies that everybody else has. I kind of wish there was a couple, maybe two or three, that were ones I've kind of heard of. Uh, but they're, they're very unique movies. Um, maybe low budget ones, I'm not sure. But I kind of like these sometimes, like sci-fi stuff. You can find some really cool sci-fi content on apps like this. Some stuff I've never seen on any other app. So that makes this kind of cool. Um, in fact, I want to watch this one right here. I don't know why, but I do because it looks interesting, even at low budget. Nowadays, low budget films on an iPhone could be fantastic uh, because the quality has changed so much. Uh, but there are so much on here. That is completely free, and I didn't see any ads, so I don't know about the ads. You watch through it, maybe you'll get a couple ads, but it's nothing like the other ones. Just wanted to show this to you, um, the screen, so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect. All right, so there you go, guys. I just did the quick demonstration on the TV. Let me know what you think down in the comment section of this video. Now, if you know of another app that you would like us to review on this channel, make sure it is a legal app and it is available in the app stores, whether it's a Google Play Store or the Amazon App Store. I only do reviews on legal apps on this channel. If you wanna know more about other types of apps, third-party apps that are available, we do have a Patreon channel that you can check out where we have them all linked there. But on YouTube, we're only doing legal ones, and this particular one is in the, all the app stores, but the Amazon App Store is really easy to get. It's rated very, very high. Again, let me know what you think down in the comment section, and if there's another app you want me to review, make sure you do comment that down below. Thanks again for watching, everybody.